So I just wanted to add this in really quickly before um, I forgot about it. And I know that I've already ended the video, but I'll, I'll try to cut it and put this in in between. Um, but I've had two people in the last two days um, tell me that what the company is really trying to do, and it was a thought that I had anyway, but you know, I really didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it, but at the same time, it was in the back of my mind. But there's, they're thinking that what the company is really trying to do, that was gorgeous, is get me to quit, irritate me to the point where I quit so that they don't have to pay me unemployment benefits. And the reason that this was in the back of my mind anyway is because the last person that quit tried to collect unemployment and they were adamant about not paying that person's unemployment, which in that situation, they weren't obligated to do so because the person quit of their own volition. Um, but they very much made it clear that paying unemployment was not something that they wanted to do. Um, and so I just, I just logged that in my catalog, you know, in my little library of um, thoughts. And then to have two people who have only heard a part of what's really going on to say, yeah, what they're really probably trying to do is get you to quit so they don't have to pay unemployment. Um, it's like, whoa. And then one of those people has a long history there and she has basically been told that they don't like paying unemployment um, and they will do whatever they can not to have to pay unemployment. Um, but this is also the same person that told me that when I applied for and got another job, they only had to do the background check. And when I say got the other job, I mean I had been sent um, an offer letter and everything with the salary and all of that stuff. Um, but the only thing that was left was the results from the background check um, that was done by someone outside. And the background check came back 100% clean. And when I say 100% clean, they actually sent me the documents. Come on, sweetie. They actually sent me the documents. Um, of the background check. And there was absolutely nothing on it. But then they did not give me the job because they said something came back in the background check and the only thing that could have come back in the background check um, was that someone that they talked to said that they wouldn't rehire me and they wouldn't put it past. And this is what the person is saying to me. They would not have put it past the person that was in charge of our HR to say that she wouldn't rehire me even though I am uh, really good at what I do and I am a great employee she would not have put it past that person to say no we wouldn't rehire her so she's thinking that that's why that job fell through um, and it really could have been either one of my former employee employers but the wonderful thing about um, that I know of and I could be wrong but the wonderful thing that I know of about like if you call the work number, they only give you the basics and the only reason that they would come back with a no on the rehire is if you were terminated for theft or you know something of that nature and they wouldn't hire you back. Now I know that when I was laid off from a major concrete company, um, an international concrete company. I know that when I was laid off from there, I knew then, um, based on the paperwork that was presented to me, uh, that I would not be rehired with that company simply because of the reason why they let me go. They could not admit to why they were letting me go. Um, 
but it was really well, really very well worded um, so that the insinuation was clear, um, but not blatant, um, not specific, I should say. Um, and the reason that I was let go or laid off from that particular company was because the young lady that took over from the person that hired me after he retired um, was basically prejudiced. And what she wanted was someone younger and more easily influenced. And that's not me. So they could not, like it was specifically mentioned that they weren't firing me because of age. It was specifically mentioned that they weren't firing me. I mean, those, there was, it was specific, but non-specific. Like they couldn't say we're letting you go because of poor work performance. They couldn't say we're letting you go because of your age. They couldn't say, and they couldn't say poor work performance because that wasn't a thing. Um, but they couldn't say certain things, but they could say other things that kind, that let you know what the real deal was and then they turned around and said no we won't hire you back and that was because that person would not hire me for any like they wouldn't even let me transfer to another department um, because that person didn't want me in the company at all that's just how prejudiced she was um, that's just how threatened she was um, and no I'm not saying this because I want to say that I'm better than so many other people that's not the case the bottom line is the woman was prejudiced and she wanted someone younger and she wanted someone that she could mold and she wanted someone that she could tell what to do and that they would be her yes person that was really very clear because I found out not even two months after I was gone she hired a young white woman who also became her personal assistant and devoted all of her time to her. She was her admin assistant within the company and then outside of the company, she ended up being her personal assistant. So really what this woman wanted was someone that looked like her that would do everything that she wanted her to do. So that's what she got. And I don't even think she's with the company anymore, the lady that let me go. Um, but anyway, so that is what I was told most likely is happening is that they are really trying to provoke me to the point of uh, me quitting um, so that I cannot collect unemployment. Um, and the two people, especially one that mentioned that to me is really saying, just hold out, just hold out, just hold out, do your job let them keep doing what they're doing just hold out and then they don't have a choice but to fire you or if you quit make sure you got something else lined up before you walk away and they and this they're saying this because they know that i'm at the point where i'm ready to walk away now um but they don't want me to miss out on um any money if i can just sit there long enough to force their hand versus them forcing mine. Um, like every day there's something new. Every, I just broke my ring. I lost one and I broke the, and I just broke this one. But every day there's something new. Every day I get an email or a note about something um, that I'm not doing correctly. So it is to a degree, I would say them picking at me they're just really, really picking at me so that I can just say, forget it, to hell with it, I'm gone. Um, and I've already told my husband what it is that I'm trying to do. Um, and he's like, okay, if that's what you wanna do, then that's fine with me. So it's just a matter of you know me praying and seeking God and being certain that what it is that I plan on doing is the thing that God would have me to do. Um, because I could be impulsive, impulsive and I could turn in my two weeks notice today and that would give me enough money to pay rent for next month, but that wouldn't give me enough money to do anything else beyond that. Like today I got paid and I'm missing a full week because I was home for three weeks and they're only obligated to pay you based upon the CARE Act for two weeks, 10 days um, of being out. Why is it only two weeks? I don't know, and I'm going to have to look that up. Um, but that is what they say that they're only obligated to pay is the two weeks, the 10 days, 
whereas I was out for a total of three weeks um, waiting for my results to come back. Like literally, I waited 13 days from test to results. No, it was a two, it was a full 15 days. It was a full two weeks. Um, and then I went back, I got my results on that Thursday and I went back to work on that, on that Monday, that following Monday. So I was out for a full three weeks, which means I only got paid for two of those weeks, which means my paycheck today was a week short, which means I can't pay the bills that I would normally pay in full. I can't do that with this paycheck. So I am waiting for my next paycheck to come in so that I can make sure that I can pay the bills that need to be paid with that paycheck and then I'll go from there. Um, I've got some other things that I'm thinking about, some other things that I'm praying about and I'm just waiting for God to respond on and um, I won't mention them because I'm waiting for him to respond. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I'm actually on a break and I've been on here for t almost 12 minutes at this point. Um, but I need to go get what I was going to get and then get back to the office so the other person can take their break. So, see you in the next one.